गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम यू ऑल इन नांदीप अकेडमी आई एम सुप्रिया देशमुख टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग समर्पण डेली आंसर राइटिंग क्वेश्चन एंड द क्वेश्चन इज बेस्ड ऑन द एथिक्स द क्वेश्चन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज डिफरेंट पैरामीटर्स वी आर डिस्कसिंग इन द क्वेश्चन एंड क्वेश्चन इज फोकसिंग ऑन individual personal organizational and societal goal while discussing the question let's focus what exactly locus and what exactly focus of the question so locus of the question where we have this question is from syllabus so first we have, what is our first task first task is a read a question carefully while reading the question we have to find out analyze the different parameters first discuss how an individuals personal values means how an individuals personal values conflict with organizational and societal values means how this individuals personal value can conflict with organizational and social societal values how should public servant resolve such conflict means if you are a public servant you have to resolve the conflict conflict is a main focus in our answer so while resolving such conflict we have our own personal values and while keeping aside this personal values we have to prioritize the societal values and the organizational values so that it will be beneficial for the citizens and society so while dealing such question we have to be a very very optimistic we have to think what we should have to do means the action more is important rather than the personal gains and personal whatever desires that the uh, officer have okay so while dealing with such question we have to write this question in 150 words for 10 marks how we can able to start our answer so while starting our answer the introductory area we have to define the keywords means for example we have to define what exactly personal values are the personal values are nothing but intrinsic beliefs what is the personal values are they are the intrinsic beliefs shaped by the upbringing means how our upbringing is and that personal values are shaped and the culture and the experiences where we have means the personal values that the belief that the intrinsic beliefs thoughts that we have from the upbringing surrounded by our own culture and experiences okay after writing the definition of the personal values we have to shift towards organizational values so organization where organization are such institution where person can work and person can adhere with himself means organization have their own laws own regulations and we have to work within that so this these are the principle that guide the actions and decisions this is the organizational values and what exactly societal values society is the place where we are living so society societal values are the norms and standards collectively held by the community means they are the norms decided by the community they are holding that norms and standards this is called as societal values so this three are the parameters that asked in our question after discussing thoroughly with this parameter we are moving towards our main body so what we are able to write in our main body we have to resolve that conflict while dealing with a personal value we have to resolve we have to manage our organizational goals as well as societal goals means if we want to succeed in organization and succeed in our own society we have to balance all these three goals that is ultimate aim and that is ultimate achievement in our question okay how to resolve such conflicts as a public servant question demand is how to resolve we have to resolve that conflict as an public servant so first point is adhere to ethical principle means we have to be a very specific we have to be very lean towards our ethical principles and we have to be a very integral with our rules and regulation what we have in that particular organization this is the first demand after that we you are able to write the question by focusing on the emotional intelligence keyword emotional intelligence is means by using the head and heart we have to solve particular or resolve particular issue means 
developing an emotionally intelligent can help to manage conflict you are emotionally intelligent so you are easily manage such conflicts okay and effectively by balancing the empathy empathy is very important keyword you can highlight this keyword in your answer because empathy means empathy is nothing but the higher version of this emotional intelligence you are putting yourself in other shoes and knowing and thinking how they are thinking in particular situation okay third point is seeking guidance you have to seek a guidance of a senior who are senior to you you can seek guidance from them and solve such conflicts so you can write this point in your main body even you can with the help of examples you can put examples here okay that is also beneficial okay now while moving towards the conclusion what exactly the conclusion is i am always telling to the students conclusion must be a balanced futuristic approach so while writing such conclusion in this answer we have to write that ultimately public servant must be balanced a public servant must balance in personal values with their professional goals professional roles ensuring decisions uphold public interest and promote ethical governance even if personal belief have to be set aside means whatever personal belief that you are holding you have to keep aside that values because your organizational aim and organizational goals are much more important than your personal beliefs so right uh, dealing with such question you have to write such points you have to be a very balanced futuristic optimistic so examiner are checking how much you are balanced and how much you are positive because he is expecting you as an aspirant should be always be a optimistic and always always be a solution oriented okay such question you have to uh, such in such questions you are able to write n number of points because this question is quite a generalistic question you can write your own point your own words you need to have a data facts figures and your own case studies with you so this is this is the summarization of your answer you can write answer practice this answers daily basis if we are meeting in our next question answer discussion series till then keep practicing answers thank you